hello and welcome back hope you are good doing well so we are having a shot and sell opportunity on the kvm and uh, and uh, you are looking for a shot opportunity over there so this is the bigger structure on the uh, kvn every time and it's getting back to the top we're expecting it to drop from the top and uh, and uh, the the setup is just simply farming over there all right and we are having a sell-off. We can clearly see over there sell-off caused by the Bank of Japan, all right? And then we are having, a, a, you know, strength on Kiwi against the yen caused against by the Bank of Japan buying bond, all right? The bond, $2 billion bonds. And they was trying to push the the yield lower. So we, we have seen clearly price action over there by the Bank of Japan. So what you are simply expecting over there from the KVM, you are expecting a short opportunity over there, all right? So if I'm going to pull out my rectangle, and uh, you can put, you know, use stop loss somewhere behind that previous top, once you're going to get the entry over there, and this is what you are looking that kind of trade, all right? And uh, first of all, you are looking at least, you know, you, you're covering your stop loss, and... Uh, uh, one one and one at least all right and then you are looking for this to continue to keep falling all the way up to this low right and in best case scenario you are looking this to fall all the way up to these lows all right so there you are paying attention so we are having some sell of momentum is just building over there at that top and we got uh, shorts over there yeah these shorts and then dropped and aggressively and then bounced back so you are looking for this opportunity All right, so so if I'm gonna look at the lower time frame, we are having some sell off over there, but the sell off is not so strong, all right, and uh, that means we still can see test, we still can test the, the the top couple of times before we're gonna get down, all right, and uh, I still can test that top couple of times. So so you're looking price to to test that top, and then you are interested in to sell, or you're letting price to continue in a small correction like 5 to 15 minute time frame correction and then you're looking to trigger and looking for this to go down there all right this trade first of all short target so the chart which you can use over there to let you to, to give you an idea that what kind of trade you're looking is the australian dollar okay we, we 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 know that the australian bank the reserve bank of australia they, they did not raise the interest rate which is which is actually causing the australian dollar to go down so australian dollar is a risk on currency all right when australian dollar goes down so you see the 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 weaknesses on on the the new zealand dollar as well so it's a sympathy trade we can say that as long as new zealand uh, you know uh, australian dollar is falling you are you are chasing the the new zealand dollar as well in the same path in the same way where the australian dollar is simply going so we can clearly see that the australian dollar dropped somewhat okay so if i'm gonna pull out uh, this lower time frame so i'm gonna pull my and so structure is very much same the formations are very much same so if i'm gonna pull out that way and i'm gonna look at this and gonna apply my lines there so there we can see right and uh, if i'm gonna uh, look at this so there we can see that the price is you know moving towards 38 percent of this move the bullish moves right but 38 percent is still far away so uh 87 20 that's why this short term target you are looking first all right so as long as you see that the Australian dollar is keep falling, right, which is very likely that the Australian dollar is going to keep falling, we're not going to see, you know, uh, you know, uh, strength on the Australian dollar anytime soon. That the, the, you know, in, in case if we see that the Australian dollar is correcting over there, we still can see that move over there. 
but this is not the setup over there yet okay so the setup gonna be here so you're looking you're looking you know as long as your australian dollar keeps falling against the yen keeps falling all right the similar move you are looking here because we're gonna have lag slight slight lag over there why that why you know you are looking on this trade why not looking at that trade so drop on this will confirm that trade okay so drop on uzi yen will confirm that the kiwi yen will also follow up so as long as uh, your australian dollar and new zealand dollar keeps falling right this is also falling that will create the lag between the australian dollar and the new zealand dollar so as long as this chart keeps falling this is actually telling you that uh, the australian dollar is getting weaker okay and right after that you're going to see weaknesses on the new zealand dollar as well across the market so yeah so drop on this will also you know you know definitely going to give you weaknesses on the australian dollar okay but the opportunity is going to be over there on uh, on uh, you know new zealand dollar as well so hope that makes sense and you got the idea that uh, what you are looking for all right so for longer term still the trade gonna remain same all right so in case if we don't see that drop we can see that the new zealand dollar is just simply struggling within these areas okay every time and new zealand dollar coming over they are falling coming falling coming falling yeah every time a new zealand dollar is just coming at those highs it's just falling so we are at a good spot to watch for the new zealand dollar based on this longer term price action that the new zealand dollar is struggling in these areas against the the, the yen and also we are having some policy change from the bank of japan so so there are you know some factors uh, which you know um, building in the favor of the yen so we are we are we are looking for this to, to drops and also uh, inflation is significantly high in the new zealand all right but we we clearly can see that uh, the the reserve bank of new zealand they have raised the interest rate and uh, they are calling the cycle i mean we may not see further hikes in the in the New Zealand from the the, the Reserve Bank of uh, New Zealand, so uh, the strength which New Zealand ha dollar has got because of the the central banks, yeah, almost fading over there. That's strength came over there because of the higher interest rate. So now we are having convergence from the Bank of Japan. So so that's why you are looking, you know, for longer term to the downside on uh, on. Uh, new zealand dollar against the yen so if i'm gonna again look at the lower time frame yeah so it is it is falling but the fall is not pretty sharp over there okay so it still may test that top if it doesn't test that top you are looking for a correction which is just trying to build over there let me pull out my moving averages all right so there we can see that the price has broken below the five five minute trend so the which trend the trend which started from their aggressive all right and finally price broken down that trend and st price was struggling over there so you're looking that five minute trend to stay intact and price to hold those moving averages for the downside and continue to keep falling all right continue to keep falling to the downside thank you